I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. How do you know if there's an audience for your independent film? And how do you find them? These are two of the first questions you should be asking when you start working on a new film, even as early as the writing and planning stages. So how do you find your audience and figure out whether there is a thirst for your film? One of the first things I do when I come up with a new idea is I create some art for it or have it done. Basically, just get a poster whooped up for the project that accurately depicts the intended movie. Then I'll start posting that art up all over social media, add hashtags where appropriate, and see what kind of interaction I get. And if the posts just kind of set there like lead balloons, I adjust the art and post and I try again. I basically look at this as a three strikes and you're out kind of deal. So if after three separate pieces of art, and, and all three are just getting no interaction, then I might rethink that project. Or at least go back to the drawing board on the art. This also really gives you a chance to start narrowing down your target audience, age group, interests, etc. And while doing this, it also gives you the opportunity to start doing some hashtag research. I start out with about 20 hashtags. I just pick the ones that I think are most relevant to my movie, and then I'll hit up Twitter and Instagram and start searches on each and every one of those hashtags. I take note of which ones have more posts that are more relevant to my movie and which ones are getting the most interaction. And then I keep repeating that process and switching out low performing hashtags for more appropriate hashtags till I've gathered between 20 and 30 well performing hashtags for that individual project. And then I'll later use those hashtags in different combinations for promotion. And a quick side note, the hashtag data, this is constantly changing and in flux. So when the movie is actually released, you might need to repeat this process one more time. The other thing I'll take note of is what types of posts within these hashtags are getting the most interaction. Are they text posts? Are they link posts? Are they memes? Are they videos? What kind of comments are people actually making? Because this is basically your audience. Get to know them and their wants and needs, and you can make your movie to better serve them which in turn will make your movie more successful. How do I zero in on these initial hashtags? Let's take a narrative film. I made a movie a few years back called Death Day, a horror movie about a woman who finds herself in an endless cycle of terror as she's brutally murdered, then resurrected again and again, each time losing pieces of her soul. Yeah, I know, sounds a little familiar, and I know it sounds like it, but I did not rip off Happy Death Day. I was unaware of Happy Death Day. The movies were shooting around the same time. My movie was called The Campus. The distributor later changed the title to Death Day to ride Happy Death Day's coattails, but I didn't have anything to do with that change. Anyway, I digress. Hashtags, yes. First off, it's a horror movie. So at horror will be one of my first hashtags. Now, this is super broad and not necessarily a good specific hashtag, but I think it's good to start broad and then work your way in. Side note, last I checked, Instagram had outlawed the at horror hashtag, so you might substitute that there for at scary or at scary movie or at thriller or some variation thereof. And another cool thing about the broader hashtags is that they're great for targeting large groups, but the lower reach that you have as an individual, meaning like number of followers or interactive followers, you know, the less people you're going to reach with those broad hashtags. So you need to get a little more specific. The movie also features a female lead, a survivor or final girl, if you will. So I choose at survivor girl and at Final Girl. Also, I might pick a few hashtags from more well-known movies that might be similar to mine. So yeah, even though there's that perceived ripoff connection, I did use the hashtag at Happy Death Day for some of the Death Day posts. Then I picked another four or five movies that had similar elements to mine. The main character in the movie had just lost her father, and a good chunk of the movie takes place at a funeral. Loss is a major theme in the movie. So at loss, at Funeral. The movie deals with a devil figure, at devil, at Satan, 
Within the movie, the protagonist has to deal with a different type of monster or antagonist or evil each time she is killed. I was able to mine this for quite a few hashtags. At zombies, at body horror, at home invasion, at ghost. The movie is also pretty gory. So at gore, at gore SFX, at SFX artist. And that's pretty much how I do my hashtag research. And also at Instagram, if you start typing in these hashtags, they'll give you like a ranking of relevancy, like how many times or how many people are using them. And they say, you know, if you have a hashtag that has like millions of people using it, like you don't really want to use that. You want to use hashtags with less people using it so that you will individually rank higher in that search. But there's plenty of videos on hashtag research out there. That's just my one little tip. Now, if you have the cash, I would also recommend running a few like dollar a day paid ads to see if you can nudge things a little. As far as places to promote my film, the place that I use the most for audience research is Facebook. There are two reasons for this. One, Facebook is just the platform that I have the most experience with, so I'm the most comfortable with it. Two, Facebook groups are fantastic for research and promotion. I've got more mileage out of Facebook groups than any other aspect of social media when it comes to promotion and research. If you really wanna work a Facebook group, you have to be involved. When people do comment on your posts, respond to those comments. Respond to others' posts. The more active you are with other people's stuff, the more other people will interact with your stuff down the line. And forget about the promotion for a second. You can find out so much information in these groups, and there are great networking possibilities. You want to know how people will respond to your movie? Pick a similar famous movie or movie that has elements of your movie and ask questions about that. See what works for them, what doesn't. Now, I'm not suggesting that you remove elements from your movie that don't track with these groups, or I'm not saying that you should build your movie creatively around what people in these groups may or may not like. I'm just saying be aware of what is resonating online with people and make a note of it. When it comes to promotion, you can highlight these elements in your promotion and minimize others. And if Facebook doesn't work for you, you can use whatever platform you like and instead of groups, use hashtags or subreddits for research. Let's see what some other filmmakers have to say. Film maker tips. I for one would love to know this. I spend months on a project and then struggle to get three figure views. After this pandemic is over, I think I might go to school and hand out leaflets because social media is oversaturated. Now, of course, I think they're joking about the leaflets, but they might be onto something there. Maybe not leaflets, but there are old school physical marketing avenues that have mostly been abandoned in favor of online promotion, billboards, stuff like that. Now, I'm definitely no expert in that type of marketing, but there's probably a way for filmmakers to exploit those old school methods more. Hey, I can help you promote your movies. Share details at SA at VectorMob.com. Gotta love spammers. Depends on how much money you have to spend. Or, in other words, he has no clue. You should always have an audience in mind when you're making your film. If your film is a rom-com centered around a girl, then your audience is YA with a focus on girls. They must be a subscriber. Start at the beginning before making your film. Know who the intended audience is and how to reach them. My last film was in the Bigfoot community, which I had probably my most success at conferences and conventions. That's interesting. I've done a few Bigfoot movies myself and um, I haven't actually taken advantage of conventions at all. So I, that's something I really need to look into. Thanks for that tip. By utilizing first principle thinking, understanding the components of film, I start with the root idea Let's say it's a short horror film about a guy who clicks on a video that says something ambiguous like, please watch. Believing that it's something it's not and finding out it's a video in which his dog is being eaten in front of his very eyes. We now break that root idea down into its component ideas. One, 
horrifying clickbait video. Two, doggo, smiley face. Three, the feasting dog napper. We can now be in the process of finding an audience synonymous with the component ideas presented has pertained to the root idea. One, horrifying internet video groups. Two, Cujo fan clubs. Three, fictional sociopath serial killer interest groups. Then we can say something in the post like, what if the real Cujo is us? Don't forget to subscribe, support me on Patreon if you so choose, but whatever you do, keep making movies.